with head coach Jackie Boswell following the Marymount uh, Stevenson basketball game. Look, I gotta tell you something, that after that first quarter, I thought the resilience and the defensive pressure that you guys put on Marymount was superb. So there's a lot to take away from this game. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you can't dig yourself in that big of a hole against a really good team like Marymount. Um, I thought that we, you know, something did come over us in the defensive end and trying to convince them that that's going to be, when you're missing easy shots and stuff, you just got to try to keep getting easier ones. It's got to be relied on our defense. So I thought we did a much better job in the second half. We held our leading scorer, Kelly. Kelly held our leading scorer to just six points. So that was that was really big for us. And so definitely something to capitalize on and move forward from. You know, you, know, you never accept a loss, but... Um, as long as we learn from it, it's not a loss. Yeah, and there's so many young ladies to talk about, but I do want to talk about Kelly Johnson because, I mean, she was going up against an All-American. Katie, Katie McShay is a double-double machine. She never could really get on track, and it wasn't only Kelly Johnson because okay. when you double-teamed her, you triple-teamed her, you helped. I mean, it was really a team effort. Agreed, yes, and I think Kelly would say that too, but, um, you know, the game plan, she just executed it perfectly. They all did in that section of it, and I thought we did a really good job. And, you know, really having to play without Olivia, there was a quick turnaround and tried to make some adjustments, and I thought, you know, I thought they did a really good job. Of that. Lacey Johnson off the bench again came in, and she looks like she can be a player. Uh, first two games in this tournament, she's been shooting very well. Yeah, she's, um, you know, playing with a lot of confidence, which is really good. She's not really playing like a freshman, which is nice to see as well. Um, and so, you know, she's, she's just showing a lot of confidence out there. She's taking good shots. She's facilitating the offense for us. And, and she's really picking it up on the defensive end, too. So. So, so you're always thinking as a coach. You're always planning ahead. And you've got your first two games. You get a little bit of a break here. You're, you, you don't have Olivia Coleman. I'm, I don't know when she's coming back. Maybe you don't either at this point. What are you thinking right now about your team as you move forward? Well, I think, you know, the challenge at halftime was how tough are we? Are we going to get in a hole and just, you know, kind of give the game up? Or are we going to fight for it? And I, so the one thing that we learned is something that you can't teach, that we're going to fight for it. So all the stuff that we didn't do very well tonight, we can fix in practice because their mentality is there to fix it. All right, sounds good. We wish you luck in the uh, rest of the way. Great, thank you. What a performance by this young lady, number 20, Kelly Johnson, who held their All-American, Katie McShay. And let's talk about that. This game against Marymount was not an easy game. You dug yourself a hole in the first quarter. But after that, you have to be really proud of the way your team responded. Yeah, absolutely. I think starting out, we did. We were a little slow. Um, but we knew that as soon as we got the defensive end to, to turn up for us, then we'd go ahead and convert on offense. And sure enough, as soon as we started to get steals, you noticed all of our shots started to fall. Um, we couldn't really make layups in the first half, and then it just clicked for us. So it was definitely the defense that led to our offense today. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. I want to specifically talk about your defense on Katie McShay. She came in with a great reputation, and it's well earned. What did you think you had to do today to make it difficult for her? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we knew losing Olivia yesterday uh, to an injury, hopefully she'll be back soon, that we're definitely going to have to box out really hard and force her to go right. Uh, she really likes to go left, and if, I knew if she got me left, she's making a way of no doubt. So favor her left side and then really uh, rely on our guards to go ahead and dig in, and they did that. You whittled down a 24-point deficit in the second half all the way down to nine at one point, and then had the basketball with a chance to get it down further. Yep. Turnovers were an issue, we know that, but just the confidence that the team had coming back from that large deficit. Yeah, definitely. I, again, it's just in our defense. As soon as we started to heat up, we all felt it. Everyone was charged up. Our bench was charged up. Our coaches were charged up. Um, we did fall a little bit short. We had it within single digits. Uh, we wish to obviously make it a little bit closer, but we now know that we, we have it. We're capable of things, and moving forward, it's definitely going to be a learning point uh, that we refer back to. So. Thank you so much.